Hi, hi guys. Um, yeah. So, of course, I wouldn't like uh, anyone to call me or meet with me. It's just a song. So yeah, I only do math. No, I only do math. So yeah, but I love the song anyway. So let's get started. Okay, this is math and four. If you're in the wrong class, you can stop the video and go to the correct class. Okay, but if you just love maths, you can just watch. Anyway, yeah, so it's maths and four, and today we are focusing on first principle and binomial theorem. Okay, so so binomial theorem is it's it's more of a revision from N three because we did a binomial in N three when they said expand uh, the following expression to three terms by binomial theorem. So now in N4, usually they don't give you a straight equation such as y is x squared, determine the derivative by first principle. They give you where you have the square root, the cube, uh, cubic root, and other things. Okay, but you will see. Let's get started. So our first principle, I'm sure we are all familiar with this by now. The formula, that's a formula for first principle. You have f prime in case that's not visible let me just put it there this is the derivative so the derivative of f of x will be uh, your limit h approaches zero f of x plus h minus f of x over h then so now so usually i prefer uh, students to get so let's say you are given a function f of x it's for example 2x so what I prefer is for students to do uh, f of x plus h on this. So I prefer you do everything on the side. When you come back, you just substitute and uh, everything will be simplified. But you can also do it whichever way you prefer. Okay, so this means this, this is a function of x. So now this is a function of x plus h. So from the previous function where there is x, you are going to add x plus h you replace x with x plus h there then you multiply you have 2x to h then now from here you can determine f of x plus h minus f of x then you can see i'll have 2x to h minus my f of x is 2x so my answer is 2h so if i come here substitute i have limit h0 2h over h so you see i'm only left with 2 and we know if if i derive x if i derive x from normal derivative we know the answer is 2 right because you multiply remember the normal derivative you multiply with 1 then you get 2 then your x is subtract 1 so we will be left with 2 We'll be left with 2x exponent 0. We know anything exponent 0, it's 1. So the answer. So that's another thing I always say to students. Make sure you don't get this wrong because you are you are working towards an answer you already know. So it's it's really it, it really doesn't make sense if you're gonna uh, uh, not get this one correctly. So just yeah. Let's try to. I think this is one of the questions you should just master and get correct every time. Okay, so now I want us to do an example and see if we get it. Now we have this function determine the derivative from uh, first principle. So we know, we already know the answer. If we derive x squared, we get 2x. That's the answer. So that's the answer we have to get. So the first thing we must do is write the formula. Remember your formula. It's limit h approaches 0. So this time I'll do it here. I'll do everything here. But it's always better you do everything step by step. Okay, again, let me do it step by step too. So that you can see. So I'll start with f of x plus h. So which means where there is x, I'm going to add h. But remember, initially it was x squared, so now it will be x plus h squared. If you expand your bracket, you have x squared plus 2xh 
plus h squared. Now the next step is to minus f of x. So now if I take this function minus f of x, do you see x squared and x squared cancel out? I'm left with 2xh plus h squared. Then do you see my common factor is h? So I have the reason I'm taking out h, I know from the main equation I'm going to divide by h so f of x plus h minus f of x we already have an answer it's h 2x plus h over h so what happens i'm left with 2x plus h because h and h will cancel now if i substitute my h as zero i'll be left with 2x and we knew answer from the beginning then I hope that was clear but guys of course when you do this you have to show all the steps so from here your next step can be this two these steps then after go back substitute but every time when you substitute don't forget you must show that this is now the derivative then substitute okay now let's go straight to binomial okay so with binomial i'll first I think sometimes, no, I don't think they give you the formula for binomial equation. Maybe sometimes they do, but most of the time uh, they don't. Okay, let me just confirm if they give you or not when you write an exam or test. Okay, no, I don't, I don't see the formula in the formula sheet. Yeah, so, so don't be surprised with the video. It's like uh, I didn't check anything. But remember, when I'm recording the video, I can pause and come back. So, yeah, so I paused and came back. So to you, don't make any difference. Okay, but uh, so they are not giving you. So I think I will show you. But I've noticed something with maths and form. There are some questions they only give you if that question paper is going to require it. That's what I've noticed. But let's be safe. So instead of using A plus B, let me use what you will uh really need so let's avoid this one let, let me use what you will really need so if i have because we will be dealing with x plus h let's say x plus h is exponent n n is n the number so your first answer according to the theorem is x exponent n plus now n x exponent n minus one times h then the last one will be n, n minus 1, x, n minus 2, h squared over 2. Then plus infinity there. But you must show those dot dots that shows it's infinity. But let's do an example. Let's say you have x plus h exponent 10 there so your answer according to the formula will be x exponent n which is x exponent 10 plus do you see next step n n which is 10 then n minus 1 is 9 h plus the next step will be what will be 10 multiplied by n minus 1 which is 9 x exponent n minus 2 which is 8 times h squared over 2 then plus you must always show this it's it, this shows that it's continuing until infinity then you can simplify x10 plus 10 x9 h plus uh this is 90 over 5 x8 h squared then after you can now go substitute in your uh, equation for what do you call it for your first for first principle but i'll show you how this works how why you need to know uh binomial theorem so remember when we did y is equals to x squared it was easy to do first principle now let's say they give you something like this they give you y it's square root of x we know square root of x is the same as x exponent half so we already know the answer if we have to determine 
the derivative of dy dx it will be half x exponent minus one remember the answer how do you get to this answer you take this half you multiply by one here you get half then your exponent you always subtract one you get negative half so that's the answer we have to get so but first thing before everything remember we must determine f of x plus h our f of x plus h it will be what it will be x plus h exponent half because this was x exponent half now expand it remember binomial theorem the first step is x exponent n the second step is n x exponent n minus 1 h the other step is n uh, uh, n times n minus 1 which will be these two multiplying i'll get negative 1 over 4 if you do it step by step you'll see you can pause and work it out you get what did i do get negative 1 over 4 x exponent you subtract 2 to your half this time it's 5 over 2 then h squared all over 2 there then now you can determine f of x but guys don't forget to show your dotted lines to show that it still continues now f of x minus f of x plus h minus f of x so what do you notice if i said this equation okay let me make space so that let me erase here so that we can see it let me say something like this if i say this equation which is x half plus half x minus half h this will be one over eight dotted lines then you can put it in bracket this is f of x plus h minus f of x remember our f of x is x exponent half there it's x exponent half there then if you subtract you notice what happens x exponent half will cancel x exponent half so we are only left with half x minus half h minus 1 over 8 x minus 5 over 2 h squared plus dotted lines that you don't have it cancelled so now we can go to next step next step is now substituting in your formula remember your formula it's limit h0 f of x plus h and this is where you will really uh, enjoy uh breaking it into step by step because now when you come back you are only going to substitute your answer there so now i have limit h0 i'm substituting 1 over 2 x minus 1 over 2 h 1 over 8 x minus 5 over 2 h squared plus infinity all over h so what happens do you see if i take out h as constant every time do you see from this first term i have h then i have h squared the next term will have h cubed then h exponent for h exponent 5 so which means every term until infinity will have h so if i take it out as common factor i'll be left with this then here i'll be left with 1 over 8 minus 5 over 2 h all over h so what happens now the answer i have here okay i don't have because of space let me do this then i hope you can see what happens h cancels h so now do you see let me use a red card do you see from here until infinite everything will have h because i'll have h exponent one h exponent two three four five so which means if i'm going to substitute this h zero here everything from here until infinity will be zero so my answer will only be half x exponent minus half which we knew from the beginning here do you see 
so that's how you use phenomia but we will do extra examples so you can understand okay let's go to the next one okay here's the next question if they said determine the derivative of this from first principle i've seen this in one of the 20 20 uh, 2020 question papers and other question papers before they can give you anything let's say they say 2 over uh, cube root or 1 over cube root of x do you see then we know we can rewrite this as 2x exponent minus 1 over 3 if we take it to the top because cube root means 1 over 3 do you see so if we work out our answer we know our answer for derivative if we do it here our answer for derivative will be uh, negative 2 over 3 if we multiply 2 and exponent then you minus 1 there and your exponent if you say minus 1 over 3 minus so it's it's better you also have a calculator in your hand when you go through this so that some answers can make sense so here if i minus 1 you get minus 4 over 3 so this should be our final answer we already know but now they won't give you this so i'm just showing you so i'll leave it there but this is this is uh you, you can always work out your answer on the side and know what you are, you are working towards okay now let's go so remember we have to get f of x plus h first so my f of x do you see i have 2x exponent 1 over 3 so where there's x i'm adding h So now let's expand. Leave that two outside. It's it's just a fact. Remember the first term is x exponent n. The second term, check your your binomial theorem. It's n x exponent n minus one. If I subtract minus one, we said it's four over three. Then h. Now I want us to do this last term together. This term is n n minus 1 over 2 x n minus 2 h squared so let's do it let's press your n it's minus 1 over 3 then you open bracket minus 1 over 3 minus 1 then divide by 2 i'm getting positive 2 over 9 do it in your calculator you'll see the only thing you have to do is substitute n minus 1 over 3 from here from here then you see your answer will be positive 2 over 9 then x n minus 2 that, that's the exponent of x if i subtract 2 to n i'm getting minus 7 over 3 then h squared then dotted lines then i leave it there okay let me remove this for space after here i can multiply inside the bracket but i'm, I'm gonna skip that step so we don't waste time now i'm subtracting f of x so when i'm doing my f of x plus h i'm multiplying inside the bracket uh, already i'll have 2x minus 1 over 3 have minus 2 over 3 x minus 4 over 3 h i have 4 over 9 x minus 7 over 3 h squared plus dotted lines this is f of x plus h minus f of x which is what which is 2 x minus 1 over 3 do you see what's the next step this cancels this then we are left with that that's what we are going to substitute in our formula our formula will be limit h0 f of x plus h minus f of x all over h which is limit you must always write this limit and, and until you use it so now if i substitute do you see now from minus 2 over 3 x that h 
everything will have h until infinity h exponent 1 2 3 4 so i can take out h already then i'm left with 2 over 3 x minus 4 over 3 there's no h i took it out here i'm left with 4 over 9 x minus 7 over 3 now i'm left with 1 h plus infinity the next time we'll have h squared h cubed until infinity all over h you see what happens this h cancels that h so now the first term doesn't have h and other terms all other terms until infinity have h so which means from here until infinity it will be zero and i substitute h zero there so my answer will be what will be minus 2 over 3 x minus 4 over 3 and we knew this answer from the beginning there do you see that's how you use your binomial theorem guys yeah so practice uh, more questions on it all right i'll see you next time don't forget to email any questions you have or you can leave a comment in your comment section thank you bye bye